In the previous lecture, we understand how you can restrict the home route in the React application. Only the authorized user can access the home route. If you try to access the home route, you will redirect to the login page. Now, if you specify your user credential and click on the login button, you will successfully log in and redirect to the home page. But what if I reload this browser? When I reload the browser, I'm going to redirect to the login page again because inside this is login, we have false. The Redux store is going to specify the initial value to this store value. That is why we need to re-login whenever we reload the browser. Now, to solve this problem, you can use your access token. You can use this access token of your local storage to stay login. If you just back to your home page .js file, here you can notice I'm using here is login variable to restrict the home route. What I'm going to do is here at the top, I'm going to create a function. I'm going to name it constant route is equal to and pass here a function. Inside this function, I'm going to simply say local storage dot get item and using this get item, I'm going to access my token. So to get the item, you need to specify this key. So I'm going to copy this key and specify that here. This get item is going to get that key and return to the variable. So let me store that key inside a token variable like this. So inside this token, I'm going to have that key. So just down here, I can simply say return. If I have any value inside this token, I'm going to return true. Else, I'm going to return false. That's it. Just out of that, you need to call this function inside this use effect. So just for now, I'm going to get rid of this if statement like this. And here I'm going to call this route inside a console.log like this. Let me save this file back to my console. And when I click on the login button, as you can see, I'm going to have here true as a response. Because as you know, we have here access key inside this local storage. So what you need to do is you just need to grab this function get it of this user from here like this don't forget to add here exclamation mark get it of this console and this user and instead of this user I can specify here route save this file and click on the login button when I click on the login button I'm going to redirect to the home page but now when I reload my browser you can notice I'm not going to redirect to the login page again I still have access to my home page because of this access token. Let me click on this logout button. When I reload the browser, as you can see, I don't have access to the root route. When I click on the login, as you can see, I can stay login in my application. Now at the last, let me show you how you can display error messages whenever something went wrong. So for example, I'm going to open my login page and what if the user is not authorized? In that case, you need to display an error message to the user. Let me show you how you can display an error message to the user when the user is not authorized. So I'm going to back to my Visual Studio Code editor and open my login. Here I have valid credential. Let me show you what if I remove this A from this email. Back to my browser and click on the login button. When I click on it, I'm going to have the error message inside this console. Instead of getting this no account with this email error message inside this console, I want to get that error just down here, just out of this password. So I'm going to back to my login page and here I'm going to create a new state for error messages. So I'm going to create here constant in the array. I'm going to say error message and set error using set error. I'm going to specify value to the error message variable and initialize this error message with empty string. That's it. Just out of that, just down here, as you know, when something went wrong, I'm going to print this console message instead of this console message here I'm going to specify set error and inside that I'm going to specify this error and as you know with this error you will get a key ERR I'm going to access that key let me save this file and so I'm going to grab this set error and inside this curly braces here I'm going to specify console.log and I'm going to specify here error.err let me save this file, reload the browser, and click on the login button. As you can see, I'm going to have here no account with this email inside this error message. I'm going to get rid of this console and get rid of this console message because I'm not using it. Let me save this file. Once you understand how you can access this error message, let me create a new component and display this message inside that component. So let me just create a new component inside this import folder. 
here I'm going to create a new file and say error dot jsx or you can specify name to this file error alert dot jsx inside this file I'm going to create a react functional component and to this div I'm going to specify a class name I already have styling to these error messages inside my CSS file so I'm going to use here error log I'm going to add here a button with on click event so I'm going to say here on click is equal to in the curly braces I'm going to say props dot clear error as you know we need to pass this props as a parameter to this function so I'm going to say here props like this inside this button I'm going to add curly braces and print the error message so I'm going to say here props dot error message I'm going to get the error message from the parent component properties just out of that here I'm going to add i tag with the class name error so this will just add a simple error icon so this statement is going to simply add an error icon save this file and back to the login form dot jsx file here as you can notice I have my input text boxes and this login button after this second input text box after this password right down here I'm going to add my error messages so here I'm going to add curly braces and I'm going to add here a variable called error message I'm going to get this error message variable from the parent component so I'm going to add here comma and say error message just for that when I have a value inside this error message I'm going to print the true statement or I'm going to print the false statement inside this true statement I'm going to print this error component so at the top here I'm going to just add import statement and say error alert from this error file just out that just down here I'm going to get it of this true and here I'm going to add error alert my component like this just out that if I don't have any value inside this error message I want to return false let me just simplify this complete statement instead of this ternary if and else statement I can just simply add here ampersand that's it this will does the same job as you know to this error alert you have two properties error message and clear error let me pass that inside this login file here to this error alert I'm going to specify first error message is equal to and in the curly braces I'm going to specify this error message variable just out of that we have here clear error on click event when you click on the error message I want to clear that message so I'm going to pass here a property call clear error is equal to in the curly braces I'm going to pass here handler function like this and inside this handler function I'm going to simply say set error and in the parenthesis I'm going to specify undefined now as you know I don't have this set error function inside this file so let me add that at the top here I'm going to add a comma and specify set error back to my login.js and as you know I'm going to pass all that values using this login state property so inside this login we need to pass both this value error message and set error let me copy this error message specify that here like this copy this set error and specify that here back to my browser and reload it when I click on the login button as you can see I'm gonna have here an error message no account with this email when I click on this error message react will automatically remove that message from the login page now at the last if you want to style this button you can add styling to this class name inside a CSS or you can create a style inside this component as well now once you understand how you can display the error messages for the login form you can do the same for this registration you can display your error messages just down here just after this input text boxes so that's it guys I hope you learn many new things from this moon series if you have any question about this series you can comment me down or you can message me on my Instagram if you want to download this complete project the link is in the description if you find anything useful don't forget to like and share this video with your friends subscribe for more latest videos I will see you in the next video with a new topic